Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Robert Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Stonehearth Alpha 15, and we're now on episode 12. And just in case you missed episode 11, it was a short episode right before the holidays. Well, we built the keep. The keep is now erected. It took a couple hours to put together, but man, is it very, very cool. It even has a dictator-like little, you know, terrace that the king can come stand out on. It's great. It looks really, really good. The third level doesn't have walls at all. It just has pillars. It's, it's kind of open air. And then it does have a fourth floor too as well that can be accessed via ladder in two locations. And uh, on the inside, in case you missed it well, while I was building it, there is multiple staircases leading up and down. The, the only way to get down to the bottom floor is via staircase. So up through the front door, then down one of the two staircases. Oh, you can't even see it in here. It's really hard to see. But yeah, it's, it's really cool. And we did leave an open spot so that we can get into the dungeons. And the dungeons will leave into, of course, Pineapple's head. It is really one of my most incredible, I, I, one of the the most incredible things I've built, I think, in this game, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn, I'm saying it is definitely the most unique and interesting building I've designed. Will will the game actually build it? I don't know. It's, it's kind of a, a big old question mark. But if Radiant Entertainment has accomplished everything they set out to accomplish for Alpha 15, I suspect that it will. Because look at this. So it looks like the Hearthlings are now taking down the scaffolding from our second trade tower. This is the one that we started construction on after it flipped over to Alpha 15. And it looks like they are building it. We are not having to intervene. Intervene at all. And it's really, really exciting. I'm super stoked. This will be the first two-tier building that this, the Hearthlings have ever built without any assistance at all from me. So I am super thrilled. And today, what's even more exciting is we get to start moving in. Guys, we get to move in. We get to move our stuff in. So we've already, if you remember from last time, uh, I think uh, episode uh, 10, we started here. Let's just slice this so that we can see. I think it's second slice is there, that one. We actually do have a p part of, uh, let's see, the Yes, the Weaver. So, King Foxtrot. <laughs> king Foxtrot. I don't know if King Foxtrot is actually the king of this land, but King Foxtrot is what, what is our Weaver. Anyway, and we will... We have a... Uh, we have some more stuff to put in here. Uh, what's a... I wonder what a good angle would be to sort of slide in here and... Uh, it's kind of, still kind of tricky to find that right angle. Oh, there we go. That's, that's nice. That's nice. Let's rotate this. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. So, like so. And then we're going to put the, the loom. I guess we could put the loom, like, right in the corner there. Ah! I don't. I think it doesn't, I don't, it doesn't have to be in the corner. It could be, like, I don't know. It could be, like, I, I want some room for the... Actually, if we did it like that, then we have some room to put some chess in here. And I think we'll do that right now. Because every one of the trades is going to have their own little storage area in the, in the, in the form of chess, right? And this way, they don't have to go running all the way down to the... The, the common area, which is sort of going to get dried up because we're going to be taking all that stuff and actually finally putting it to use. I think we'll do another storage chest right in here. We're going to build a ton of these things. A ton of them because, yeah, we have a serious use for them. And I like the stone look. I mean, we've gone with kind of this medieval stone look throughout, so I think we're going to keep with that, that motif. That'll be really nice. Okay, there we go. We do have a couple gold ones, too, that we can make use of. I don't know where we're going to put those. Those can have a lot of storage, so those would be really good for the clay worker and the woodworker, which require a lot of um, raw materials. So, I don't know. Yeah, it seems kind of funny that, you know, kind of the, the least expensive of all the trades would need the largest chests. But it kind of makes sense in a way. Okay, and on the top floor, absolutely 100%, we're going to do the blacksmith. Okay, first things first. Let's get these, these chests sorted out. So, the blacksmith... Yes, we want to have uh, these chests. I don't think these ones should have access to ore. Um, the metal bars, yes. So, yes, metal bars, weapons, and tools, and armor, yes. And then, yes, tools and, tools and goods, weapons, and armor, yes. What's this one? We will also make this one tools and goods, weapons, and... Uh, thing is, I'm going to make this one tools and goods. Leave this one here for now, because the woodworker is going to need one that's tools and goods too as well. But these three are going to be specifically just for the blacksmith, and maybe we should even build a couple more. Let's get a couple more ready to go. Oh, and also, I want... Do we want wealth in these? I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess... Because, I don't know. We'll, I think I think that we're going to save the wealth. Well, okay, well, we're going to make this one wealth. We'll make this one wealth. Turn this one on for wealth, and turn this one off for wealth. Uh... Basically, uh, the wealth ones I want to have inside of the main keep, right? And we haven't even started building that. So let's get these chests moved. 
So yeah, oh, this is so exciting. We get to move in, guys. Oh, I've been waiting for this for so long. So let's get some of these chests sort of uh, just on the side here. Uh, wonder, I right, I can't. Oh, it's weird. Okay, so when you're moving a chest or something, you can't actually change your mind. Oh, maybe you can change it from here. Maybe, yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, because I want it right along the edge there if I can do it. Uh, maybe that's as close as it can go, yeah. So that's as close to the edge as we can put that. So we'll put another one here. So this episode is going to be about finishing buildings. Yes, you heard me. Finishing buildings and, of course, uh, setting up our trades area in trade areas in the trade towers. Very exciting. So let's get this, the actual blacksmith uh, work area. Let's get it shifted to right here. Oh, that's going to look fantastic right on the roof. That looks so good already. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, guys. And maybe put the anvil right here. Gives us lots of room, actually, because we might still want to do raw ores up here. I don't know. And we could just do it right on the ground, too, as well. Like, we could still do uh, still do some, uh, like, we could make a little uh, storage area just for raw ores. And we could hide the, the zone so it does, doesn't look so nasty. You know, it's, it'll look really good like that. Okay, so next is, uh, let's get... Let's get the clay up. The, well, we'll wait until they're done this one. Well, once this one's done, we'll start moving in some stuff. And, oh, that's going to look so good. I am so excited. Oh, Goblin raving, Raiding Party. Uh-oh. Ah, ah, I'm not worried at all. Not worried at all. Actually, we're going to start removing these ladders because um, it's not necessary to have these anymore. And it is just a, uh, basically a, a, a weak point in, in our in our stuff. Oh, and also we can get rid of all these ladders too as well because this, I believe this tower is done. It is done, done, done. Like, I don't think we're gonna, well, we could uh, we could add some braziers and stuff on top and we probably will, but the, these ladders here, they're not even tall enough to do that. So we might as well just take these ones down and then add more ladders when we need them, right? So yeah, this was kind of, this was, this was Alpha 14 too. This building was Alpha 14, I think. Or we started, I think we started this one in Alpha 15. So maybe this was the first, oh, Let's just make sure that everything's okay here. Yeah, a couple goblins. Shouldn't be a problem. We should send out our crew to go beat up the camp here. But we're going to wait until we get some armor. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Chieftain Ma Olive Skin. Yes, he's going to continue to send troops our way. That's okay. That's that's quite all right. Uh, somebody was saying that we had another chance maybe to, to finish that quest. I, I'm not even sure. Um, I... Oh, oh, that reminds me. Oh, ah, yes. So this is this is ten bed, right? Yes, ten bed. Yeah, ten bed is set to just dig. So actually, let's get him a ladder in here because he probably can't get out. <laughs> Ooh, armed goblin. Oh, they are sending a lot of troops. Maybe at night they send them all at night. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, those ladders are gone already. Perfect. Uh oh, some guys got hurt here. Oh, another thing we can do is the healer. Now we could build. There is a new healer item. We can build. Uh, of course, bandages. It's just fiber and herbs. So let's let's maintain like ten of those. I think that'd be a really good idea. Yes, ten of those and uh, herbless wall-mounted sign. Yeah. Well, ah, uh, I'm not too worried about that right now. Just make sure. Does he have? Oh, he has a little sword. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, oh, he dropped. Uh, the last guy dropped some loot. Got to make sure to collect that. So we should have tons of food, too. Tons of food coming in. Oh, beautiful. Okay. And it's now that we have a weaver, we have King Foxtrot, who's our weaver. <laughs> what are, is it King Foxtrot? I'm pretty sure. Let's just be sure that I'm... So I'm not mistaken. Yeah. No, King Foxtrot is our car carpenter. Sorry. My bad. Uh, who's our weaver? Our weaver is Mytha Poopstick. <gasps> oh, that's great. Uh, let's change your name, King Foxtrot, so that... Uh... So that I just, it just rings. When I when I think, think King Foxtrot, I think King Foxtrot, the carp. <laughs> the carpenter. There we go. Carpenter. There we, carpenter? No, car, carpenter. There we go. King Foxtrot, the carpenter. You're not necessarily the king of this land, but I'm not saying that you're not either. Because <laughs> we need a king. And you just, your name, you're already, you're, that's your name. Okay, but we do have Myth of Poopstick, who should be working on some... Some actual weaving projects, because I think we queued some up last time. Yes, we did, and I bet you we we already have some stuff, which is great. Actually, I, I just want to take another quick look at those projects really quickly. I just want to remember what materials we need for those. So yeah, oh yeah, fur pelts and threads. Yes, and then the threads we get from the fiber. Oh, the herbalist just got herbalist level two. Fantastic for building the bandages. Uh, you guys were saying that the bandages are way better. Uh, for healing. So yeah, we definitely want to have some of those. And while we're here, let's, we need to get these, 
I do have some silkweed in here that we can just keep harvesting. And I'm thinking we should maybe move and make kind of a little crop of those. Ooh, daily update. Duh. Duh, yay! Ah, cool, new settler. Roran Kara. It's another girl. So I do have a name for you, Roran. And I apologize to, I, what's his name? Sam Ham? <laughs> ah, Sam Ham. Hold on, I'm gonna pause it here. Sam Ham has sent approximately, I don't know, 35 messages in like three days. <laughs> I'm not saying that that's necessarily, necessarily the right way to get my attention, but it does work on the other side. He sent about 35 messages all saying, make me, you know, get, get, I, I need to be somebody. He, he wants to be someone. So um, he wanted to be a boy, but you know what? I, I don't. <gasps> what? Are you kidding? Cheese and crackers. A 666. Ah, uh, wow. Okay. It's been a while since I've seen a character, um, a 666 character. Wow. I don't even know, like, what what do we make this character? This character, whew. Uh, okay, Sam Ham. <laughs> Guess what, Sam? You get to be the only 666 character, uh, and that's not, that's not a satanic thing in this game. That is actually just high stats. So, wow, Sam Ham, um, you will, I don't know. What do we make you? I mean, you are very, very brave, and you're very, very strong. Um, but you're also very smart. So, and I, I, I don't know. You're probably going to end up being a warrior. If we had clerics or something, I don't even know. I don't even know what to make you. <laughs> that, that's that's really great. Sam Ham. Okay. Uh, wow. Sam Ham. You have really beautiful locks. Sam Ham. Sam Ham. <laughs> so, as I was saying, we need to get... Wow, I'm a 666. That's crazy. We need to get more of these silkweeds into our little place. Because we can't grow it in uh, via farm. And I think we'll do... We'll do a little farm of them up here. I think we'll get them all moved to uh, the upper level because, well, because for the obvious reasons, because it'll be nice and close for all of our guys to work on. So it's, it's a little bit of a pain here. <laughs> Painstakingly, one at a time. But, you know, how much how much thread are we going to need in the long, long run? I don't know. Like, I mean, we want to build worker outfits and we want to build armor. Uh, and both of those will require silkweed. And we're gonna be want to build uh, bandages. Bandages are a big one, right? And we're gonna want to build um, maybe even, yeah, some some of the signs, the banners and stuff. They will require thread, and of course cloth. But and, and we could buy some thread too as well. But I mean, we might as well, you know, we might as well make use of some of the the raw materials that are just lying around in the landscape, right? And we'll make a nice little row here, and then we will move the ones that we've got over here. Uh, We'll just wait until they're done harvesting those. But yeah, we'll move those here so that they're fairly close, uh, fairly close to our weaver. And while we're here, let's let's make sure that we've got our, you know, our our operations kind of properly set up. So we want to accept all raw resources at this one. And I, for these ones here, I don't want to accept all raw resources here. I don't want to accept all animal parts. I don't want to accept. Yeah, just no animal parts. I think here. And no animal parts here. I do want to accept plants up here. Yes. Okay. So that makes sense. That way they will not be delivering these silkweeds down here. They'll deliver them up here. And uh, we got to... I'm thinking this this top one we might... Yeah, we're going to do clay up here. For sure we're going to do clay. Look! They're almost done. Uh, here, let me just put the walls back on. Uh, that, that wasn't it. Okay, there we go. Uh, look at this. They're almost done, this building. They just need to put in, what, one more, one more window? Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. They built this this building 100%. It's all them. I didn't mess with it. Oh, we need to make sure that we get uh, a ladder in here. Because, yeah, this th this is something that I put in, the ladder. Uh, just because there's there's no way to do it while I'm actually in the in the design mode to put a ladder in here. So there, they've got the ladder. This building is essentially done. They've just got to do a couple more odds and ends. And it is complete. So cool. We can actually get rid of this, too, as well. So cool. And we can actually, can we get them starting to work on the keep? Why not? I, I think we can, and we, they need a place to sleep, so, hmm, or, you know what, let's do the big head, big giant head first, big giant head first, oh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, okay, big giant head, let's, let's see if you, they can build you, let's do it, I, I think they can, I think this will work, let's try it, why not, <laughs> this could be really, really interesting, but, yeah, it looks like they're all going down to start building the scaffolding stuff, perfect, okay, and it looks, yeah, they're bringing, they're bringing in the, uh, the pelts and stuff up here already. Oh, look, we've got oh, we've got leather. Uh, do we also have thread yet? I wonder. Let's just take a quick look. Because if we have thread, guess what? We can start building armor. 
Hmm. Uh, no, they were using the thread for the course bandage. Uh, okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's get these silkweed plants moved up. Oh, kind of hard to tell what's silkweed now. <laughs> sort of. Let's get this one moved. So, yeah. We have one guy set as digging, and I think everybody else is set as doing everything. Let's just double check that to be sure. Uh, just, yeah, so we only have, oh, uh, Quiet Death, he's doing, uh, mining as well. Sam Ham is also doing mining. Uh, we'll just keep 10 bed as the miner. Everybody else can do everything else, I think. And, yeah, just 10 bed. Just 10 bed can do the mining. It's just easier to keep track of, you know, who's doing what. I, I think, just, besides that, 10 bed is special. <laughs> he's as special as a 666, except he's, what is he, a, he's a 122 or something, or a 112? I don't even remember. Hold on, we gotta take a look. 10 bed, <laughs> poor bald 10 bed, he's a 121. But he is, he's, he's great, he's been awesome. He's, he's one of the best builders we have, and diggers and all that kind of stuff. He's a good digger. <laughs> uh, looks like this is just general loot. There's probably just general loot lying all over the place that we haven't collected. That is kind of a pain, like, I don't know. It is kind of a pain when there is stuff just lying around all, all over the place and you don't know which is lootable and which isn't. I think you can highlight this stuff, though. I th remember there being a way to highlight uh, looted stuff, but whatever. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter right now. We've got so much other stuff to worry about. Like, that's, like, least on the list. Okay, let's get the, the, the clay stuff moved over. This is going to look so good. So good. Okay, so let's rotate this so it's facing this way. Perfect. Um, I just want to make sure that they can get... You know what? There's never really an issue of whether or not they can get around things. So uh, we're going to move the potter's wheel. Might as well move that kind of right in beside it. That gives us some room to maybe add some more storage. Oh, right. I was going to build some more. Whoa. Didn't mean to... Do ah. Once again, the R button has foiled me. <laughs> I keep forgetting because R in so many other games is rotate. It's not rotate. It's like everybody panic in this game. <laughs> it's the it's the big big old ah, panic button. Whoops, I put that in the wrong spot. Let's move that again. Just a little bit off, just a little tiny bit off. Ooh, let's check. We need to make sure that we have extra. Oh, for some reason I'm paused here. We need to have extra chests. So let's go to the mason here. I, I like the stone chests. I mean, might as well be consistent at this point. We could. I think we'd build the wood ones, but they're not as good. I think they can only hold 32. These can hold 64. So let's get. Uh, let's make sure that we've always got like six of those on hand. I think that's a really good idea. Because I think we're just going to need more. Like, there's not going to be a time where I want less chests. We're always going to want more chests. Uh, okay, and this, this is all food here. This is, oh, stone, yeah, stone working. Hmm. It's, I wonder with the clay, actually. Oh, they've already taken, they've already taken the, 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 the clay, the clay, the, the, the kiln already. Oh, look at them. Oh, they're building it just fine. Look at them. Uh-oh. As long as people don't get trapped on the inside. That is a bit of a concern. <laughs> I never even thought of that. Uh-oh, Mytha Poopstick just got another level in weaving, by the way. Good job, Mytha Poopstick. <laughs> I just like saying your name. Okay, so I uh, just want to check the clay. I want to see if you can build a stack of clay. Oh, you can. A clay pile. So let's let's build a clay pile. I, I, don't, I don't know exactly how that works. I think we can move that anywhere, and I think we can take it apart anytime we want. And, oh, it's super dark. We need to get some lights out here. Definitely need to get some lights. But yeah, I think we can take it apart anytime we want and make use of the clay that is stored within. Yay! Okay. Oh, very, very cool. And we, okay, so with stone working, I think we'll do stone working on the next level down. And we probably share with woodworking. It's, it's going to be kind of tight quarters down here. Or we could do stone working on this level and then do woodworking on the bottom floor. What else do we have left, though? I mean, there's cooking. Mason, so uh, we've got Carpenter left, we've got Mason left. There is the Herbalist, but the Herbalist can work. The Herbalist can work right out of the, the keep, I think. The Herbalist would be more of an, a prestigious trade. Uh, although these are all prestigious trades. I mean, I don't know, but I think, yeah, I think we'll do the Mason. Yeah, we're going to do the Mason on the uh, second floor of this one. So let's get that moved as well. Yes! <gasps> so exciting. So exciting. So the Mason's workbench, and we have the that other... Uh, Thing that we have to move with them too so uh the workbench let's put that it's kind of hard to see for me it's probably really hard for you guys to see but it's really hard to see for me even so we're gonna do we're gonna do the workbench like right here seems like a seems like a good place <laughs> or actually maybe to make it more practical because the stairs come up hold on where the stairs come up here so we want to make it more accessible 
uh, for work. So we'll do the, the workbench maybe on this side. Let's rotate it around. We'll put it up against the wall. I, I can't see a reason why that's why that's bad. I think that's a good thing. Ooh, fine animal goods. Oh, we were just talking about this. We need we need some wool. Let's let's buy some wool. Let's buy all of your wool. Because that's as good as thread, right? Or we can put that into thread almost immediately. That's really great. Thanks, guys. I, I don't know that I need anything else from you. Yeah. Uh, we could sell more hoes. Because <laughs> we do have 20 hoes. Uh, I will sell all of my hoes. <laughs> all the hoes are gone. <laughs> do we have that on maintained? I don't know. But that that is great. I, I just love making money this way. It's It feels a little cheaty. But I, I love it. It's great. Um... You know what? We are going to change it, though, because, well, we do have a lot of wood. We can always get more wood. That's a thing. So, haha. Um, there is a lot of wood. So, I will do an, at least another 20. I just like having the flow of people coming into our town. It's great. Look at them. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I hope nobody's trapped in here. Don't go in there for too long. Guys. Oh, uh, well, you know what's going to happen? Okay. Uh, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. Yeah, you know, I knew this was going to happen. Okay, so <laughs> before they finish, we have to do something. Emergency, emergency. We have to build an emergency tunnel. <laughs> Which means we have to finish a stair. Okay, so let's let's get this started. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Whoops! I didn't even think of that when we uh, first started this. And yeah, we've got to do this somehow. Um, somehow. Oh, boy. I'm not even sure how we're going to do this. Uh, you know what I'm going to do, actually, be, just to make life a little bit easier. Because when I go to the dig tool, it shows me this. And, I, I mean, I can get through it. It's going to be a real pain to do this, though. Like a real pain. Uh, okay, so, uh, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to, where is the tunnel? Let's go down. we got to go down. This is going to get tricky. Uh, let's go slice. We're going to go down to where that tunnel begins. There it is. Okay, and we have to kind of figure out where this tunnel is going to meet up. Uh, hmm. I'm not even sure how. I'm not sure how to do this, guys. Hmm. I think we have to... We'll do this. Nah, see, that doesn't show me anything. Ah, oh, man. Okay. We, we're building it from the wrong direction. That's the thing. Uh, going down is tough. So, uh, yeah, we have, to, we have to actually start digging the tunnel. So, uh, I do have a solution. Um, just because this thing's going to be in the way. What we could do is save this design, which I think I already have saved this design. Let's just be sure, though. Let's see if we can... Uh, hold on. Let's click anywhere else. Okay, so let's... See if we can load this design. Uh, this is the massive dining hall. No, 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 no. This is the, no, no, no. It's not the Regal Two Story. This is the. I don't remember what I called this. Defiance Manor. There we are. Oh, there's even a picture of it. So they fixed that, and it shows the building costs and everything too. Wow, that's that's all new. Oh, fantastic. Okay, Defiance Manor. I, I can't. It's not letting me place it. Uh, I can't, I can't place this. So what I was wondering is if I remove this. Oh, see, there it is. There it is. Oh, it's not letting me place it over here. Right, because that's underground. That's right. Okay, no, that makes sense. Okay, so let's just do a little experiment. We're going to save it. I'm gonna, you guys might as well hang out with me while we do this. Because this is important. We're going to new save. There we go. And we're going to, just in case this does not work. Because we don't want to lose this matter, right? So let's remove this design. Remove this building. And see if we can put it back. You know what I mean? Like, let's see if we can actually put it back now. So let's go to... Uh, where is it here? Defiance Manor. And we should be able to... Hopefully? <laughs> Maybe? Defiance Manor. Has to be facing the right direction and stuff. Okay, so I don't think it's facing the right, right direction. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's facing the right direction, but now it has to be sitting properly on here in order to work. Ah, uh, see, this isn't going to work. Oh. <laughs> it's like it wants to, and then it doesn't. Ah, oh, weird. Uh, maybe if we get out of this slice mode, that might help. Okay. See, it wants to build it. 
Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, so uh, <sighs> we've got to we've got to build we've got to build this thing. We've got to build the tunnel down with ten bed. And I wonder, maybe we should just pause production here because people can still get out. Let's pause this. <laughs> oh, okay. No, actually, we got to load the game. That's right. So be right back, guys. Okay, so I'm back. What we're going to do is we're going to pause production. We're going to pause this building because if they finish it, they could finish it with somebody on the inside. As a matter of fact, there's still going to be ladders and stuff on the inside. Like, is there somebody stuck in there already? That is possible. Well, let's just double check this because we don't want to mess this up. We really don't want to mess this up. Um, getting somebody stuck in the inside would be so upsetting because they would starve to death in there. Ugh. I can't I can't even stick my head in here. I don't know. My head's too big now. All of a sudden, my head's too big to stick in the, into this head. Uh, oh, looks like there's a squirrel. There's a squirrel in the head. So, actually, it's one of Pineapple's thoughts. She's thinking about squirrels right now. Okay, zoom out. Think about it. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we're pausing the construction. Everybody put down, put down your hammers. Put down your hammers right now. Stop it. Stop. Stop production. Stop. Finished. Nope. Okay. Everybody's done building this for now. Okay, good. <laughs> Woo! That was close. All right. And we need to continue digging out this, these stairs. It's going to be a huge pain, but we need, we need to, oh, oh, shoot. We made that. I think that'll be fine. I don't think I put a floor there. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, uh, shoot. That's fine. Um, I think. Oh, man. Okay, so, so, as you can see, I, I put the, I didn't do that properly. I didn't do a proper stair. So, oh, goblin. God, I don't care about goblins right now. I really don't care about goblins. So, we should be able to just go like this. There we go! Just like that. Awesome. So, is that, is that a full level down, I wonder? Uh, let's see here. Uh, I think so. So let's just keep going down further. And yes, everybody's, like, we're under attack. All the bad things are happening. And there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. Uh, hold on. It's gotta be, at least we can look straight down now. That is super handy. This is something that they added in sort of recently. Uh, very, very handy stuff. So let's go back in here. And let's do this. The nice thing is that's all that 10 bed does. So he should be back fairly quickly in order to uh, deal with this. And if we can just kind of keep his attention the whole time. Uh, somebody's under attack. Just want to be sure that we're okay here. I don't even know where. I can't even tell. Hold on. Pause, pause, pause. Pause. There we go. Armed goblin. Ah, here we are. Okay, so let's just make sure... I think we're okay. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Look at him. Yeah, he's 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 fine. But I, I had to double check on this. Hey, ten bed, don't go away. Don't go away. Ten bed, I need you. I need you right now. <laughs> I need you to keep working here, dude. Okay, so let's. We're gonna keep digging this down, and push play. That should get ten bed to come back, and then we'll do. Uh, we've we'll, got. We have to start digging forward. This is really awkward. But I think we should be able to go down pretty soon if we go. Should be able to go down. Yeah, so now we're starting to reach the next level, which is great. Let's remove that. Let's go back up. We just need to dig out. Uh, hold on. Let's turn it a little bit. Because he's got to go forward now, too, as well. So, ha! This is tricky. We've done this before, but, you know, we added a, another element of challenge. And that's having a design over top, over top of our head. <laughs> Just to make things interesting, folks. That's what I'm here to do. Make things interesting for everybody. <laughs> it's 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 like it's like I purposely torture and challenge ourselves um, just for fun. Well, probably can't build this top one, but should be able to should be able to get in there and build the rest. Dude, where are you going? Where are you going, man? I need you. What are you doing? Oh, somebody else is in there. Nope. That's come on, guys. I need somebody to dig dig the hole. Uh, hold on. Pause. Uh, maybe we should... <gasps> can I can't... I can't cancel. Oh, I can, actually. If we go down like this, we should be able to cancel all this. Yes. Suspend mining. Uh, no. Remove. There we go. Remove. Uh, we can't suspend the stuff that's above. Oh, uh, that's a bit of a pain. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, this is, this is interesting. 
I we you know we might I might be able to eventually get that that building back in if we remove it, but I, I just I worry that we wouldn't be able to do that. So let's try that again. Ten bed's probably eating. Probably. Ten bed. He oh here he comes. He's coming. There he comes. We can do this. I know we can do this. Of course we can do this. Uh, let's get this next lever, la layer in. I want to say level, but it's not quite a level yet. This is actually doing pretty good. Pretty good. That's right. Keep digging, dude. I don't care if you get this top stuff. As long as you get most of it. Oh, we might have to do a ladder in here already. Uh, yeah, see, this is a thing when you're trying to do meticulous work. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, we should be able to do... I don't know how far he can go in now. He can't go in any further. I can't, I can't, I can't see past that stupid building. So I was kind of hoping that maybe I could click on this stuff, but I can't. Okay, so, hmm. I wonder how, can I stick, actually stick my head in here now? Not quite, but we should be able to. Actually, I know what we can do. So we should be able to go. Nope, that's not going to work. Oh, man. So frustrating. We... Okay, actually, it, we should be able to use a ladder here. Let's try that. To remove some of this. That should work. Daily update. And guess what? We get a new person. Wow, this is going super well. New settler. Uh, I wonder, you know, the more people you have. Uh, Killian Tigri. Ah, cool. Okay, so uh, I might have a name for you. Hang on. <laughs> and we're probably out of time. Spending all my time uh, messing around here. Just one second. Okay, yeah, I just checked the time. We're totally out of time, but we can name Kelly on here. Let's see what he is. Oh, he's a 411, actually. Hmm, that would be an excellent builder. You are going to be an excellent builder, and your name shall be henceforth known as Alex G. The Gamer. I think it's just The Gamer. I think so. If not, I'm sure you'll let me know. Whoops. The Gamer. There we go. Alex G. The Gamer. Welcome. Welcome to Fort Defiance. And we're totally out of time. But, you know, we've got a new challenge. And I, th I think we'll be able to accomplish this. We're just going to wait for the the, uh, the guy to come along to put down the... Uh, is that... This is a vein of ore. I just realized this. This is a vein of ore. Yeah, it's a coal vein. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, we're... Pro we probably need that coal, so we'll have to dig that out too as well. But that's going to have to wait until next time. I hope you guys are enjoying Stonehearth. A whole new challenge, a whole new bridge to cross. But on the bright side, take a look around here, guys. Hold on. Let's go back to the top floor here. We are actually... Look at this. Oh, it's coming together. It's coming together soon. Soon we shall have a tunnel. It'll lead to Pineapple's Head, and we will have a main keep. And oh, it's going to be gorgeous and wonderful. We're going to get all this crap off the ground. It's amazing. All right, guys. We will see you next time.